I'm pretty surprised. I didn't think I'd be making another one of these videos for FIFA 19, but EA, fair play. With team of the season coming to a close, FIFACoinZone.com are starting a brand new thing on their site where they're doing top series packs. Make sure you go check them out and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off. They've bring out, they've, sorry, they've brought out, should I say, some very, very, very good weekly objectives. Now, let me show you guys these objectives real quick. The first one is Footies Coman. Uh, it is assist nine, uh, sorry, assist with French players in nine separate rival wins. It's not difficult, in my opinion, uh, unless you're in high division one. And then it's virtually impossible because you'll have to change your whole team up. I recommend if you really want Coman, relegate yourself down. I'm in low division two right now and finding it pretty easy. Uh, Danilo Pereira, win four squad battles matches using, using 11 Liga NOS players on min uh, world-class difficulty. I'm actually struggling quite a bit on this and I'll get onto that in just a second. Then we have uh, a footies kit. We have three swap deals players and then we have uh, the defensive one where you uh, win three online single matches using only defenders to earn a rare players pack. I think that's also pretty easy and it's it's pretty fun as well in my opinion. Uh, but I want to talk about these five SBCs, the, the, sorry, the, the weekly objectives. I want to talk about Coman, Danilo Pereira, uh, and then the three foot swap deals players because they're actually super easy and I'll show you guys uh, why I think they're easy to get done in just a couple of days maybe. But let's talk about Coman first. Now, Coman of course is win nine online uh, rival matches with assisting with French players. Now, this is my normal team. This is the team I typically use. So I was very lucky that my normal team is majority French anyway. So I'm I'm doing this easily. We're getting assists with with uh, Mbappe. We're getting there's a moth next to me and it's annoying me. We're getting assists with Fakir. Uh, but one of the weekly objectives is assist five uh, times with a Brazilian player in uh, five separate online single matches. It's uh, it's this one. Assist using Brazilian players in five separate rival matches. Um, so what I've been doing is getting assists with Neymar as well. It kills two birds with one stone. I think that Neymar and Mbappe Mbappe come collectively to about three to 400k now. So if you wanted to try and fit them both up up top, it's really easy to just bounce off one or, one or the other and get the assists done super easily and super quickly. Um, I'd say just go with your normal team and try and fit one or two French players in there as opposed to bringing them off the bench. Makes life a lot easier. And then you can bring off whoever you want and bring on whoever you want when you've done the assists. Um, it's actually not that difficult, especially if you're in the lower divisions like myself um, or you're in the lower skill rating slash ELO rating. It's pretty easy. And like I said, uh, getting a Brazil and a French attacker makes it so easy. I play uh, Neymar and Mbappe up top. They are incredible together and it makes it so easy. And I know Mbappe's uh, return is not good at all. However, with Fekir there as well, it's been super easy. Uh, Blanc's been getting on the sc uh, score sheet. Uh, Pogba's got on the score sheet and the assist sheet. Alouard does what Alouard does, which is just boss the game. Uh, super easy and kills two birds with one stone. Now, uh, I need to stop saying kills two birds with one stone because I feel like that first word might get picked up by YouTube's demonetization algorithm. Let's 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 go away from that. Now, the the Danilo Pereira one as well is pretty easy, and I'm pretty sure you can complete three weekly objectives in one with this one, and it's super easy. So you have to win four squad battles matches on min world class difficulty with a full league and team. Now, to get one of the swap deal players, you have to win four squad battles matches with a max rating of 82 uh, on world class difficulty and assist with uh, 15 times using uh, Eredivisie players on professional difficulty. Now, it's super easy. And I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, winning the games themselves aren't that easy. You need to find the harder opponents. So I won this first game here um against this really really poor team uh, and it was pretty easy my next game was against this team which is a lot harder and I, and for some reason this card at the back post kept beating me in the air i don't understand how uh i then lost again against this team again a, quite a difficult team when you're using a full league and team um i know they don't look that difficult i'm not even going to play this one I'm just like anything that's high rated, it's really difficult on, on world-class difficulty, in my opinion. Even I struggle with it. Uh, so what I'll be doing is waiting nine minutes, which is how long I've got to wait to uh, the next opponent update and only playing teams that look like this. Now, let me show you the team I'm using because you can complete more than one weekly objective in this batch and it's super easy. Uh, I'm using this Liga Nos team here and what I will be doing is every game I'm bringing on Lozano. Now, what I meant to do is I meant to put Pogba on the bench here. Um... 
because I bring Pogba on at right centre mid because I try and keep my team as similar as possible in game to what my my normal team is. Now, I usually bring on Lozano there and then I can get assists with Lozano whilst doing everything else. So I need to get 15 assists. Probably won't get them done whilst playing on world-class difficulty, but I can get it pretty close and then I'm only one or two games away from completing it. Um, so what I've been doing is putting Lozano up top to get the assists. Now, this team is less than 82 rated as well. So that ticks it off. We win four games with Liga Nos players because you can bring players on for the for this one. You only have to start with 11 Liga Nos players. You can bring your three subs on. Um, so winning the games with Liga Nos ticks one off. Winning with a 82 rated or lower ticks another one off. So you, you've ticked off a footies player and Danilo Pereira. And then getting assists with Lozano also ticks another one off. And this card, by the way, is ridiculous for its price. It's so cheap and it's fantastic. Now you can probably do this even easier. The, uh, the Eredivisie assists. I am personally this week, oh sorry, this month for, for foot swaps. It's been a while, chat. I'm, I even called you chat. That's how long it's been. I mean, it's not been a while since I recorded, but it's been a, it's just it's been a while since I tried using my brain. Um, so for foot swaps this month, I'm going to be going for Quincy Promes, who looks just unreal. This card looks phenomenal, and I'm very excited to use it. And I'll also be going for, if I can get it, the mid-icon pack. If not, then Jerome Boateng. Uh, the mid-icon pack, if I get all 10 of the remaining 10, and if I forget, then it'll either be Boateng or it'll be the ultimate pack. Haven't quite decided yet. Probably Boateng, because again, this card looks incredible. Six foot four, amazing aggression, decent jumping, uh, the best possible strength you can get. Uh, four star weak foot. This card would just be incredible. And even though I've got a lot of uh, defenders already, I like doing stuff like this because it just opens up potential for different teams and making cool teams and whatnot. Uh, Promes, though, is my priority, and I'll be completing him probably in the next day or two. So that will make life easier if you have, for example, Lozano and Promes on each side. Uh, you'll be able to do the um, the Eredivisie assists super easily as well. It's only on professional difficulty, so you shouldn't struggle. Um, but realistically, uh, you can pretty much get, I say, Danilo Pereira, Danilo Pereira done in two or three days. If you're not great at uh, squad battles, you just have to keep refreshing until you get a decent enough low rated team slash goalkeeper which will make life a lot easier i've seen a lot of people even still complaining about these weekly objectives and i'm not being funny but like i can understand if you you don't have a uh, Liga Nos team. I think what EA were going at is making triangles. So, for example, this Delia Prairie, not only does it look like a sick card, but it links with Tots Teles and Tots Militao in a three triangle. And I think that's what they were looking for. Same with, for example, Komen and Bayern midfielders like Thiago, for example, and maybe James or or Komen with French players. I think the Komen card also looks very decent. I'd say these are the best weekly objectives we've had all year, truthfully. I think these are the best players that we've had in weekly objectives all year. These cards look fantastic apart from his composure it's a fantastic card and i really hope that ea start bringing cards like this uh next week of course we could get another batch of incredible incredible cards and i'll be making another video of those just incredible incredible cards as well um but i think these are definitely the two uh i would say it's a bit late like it really is a bit late to give these in july it would have been nice to get these in like February, for example, and give us a lot of time to use them. But uh, I think July is a little bit late. However, I will get all, th all uh, both of them. I was going to say all three. I will get both of them and then go get Promes. Um, so I have at least some fun players to play with in the club. And it's nice. It's nice to see other people in rivals using French players because a lot of people will just be using Sabios, the Ronaldos, the Bieras, the Ronaldinhos and stuff like that. And it's nice to see a change and seeing people using French sides, for example, uh, just as a nice difference, to be honest. And like I said, that Lozano card for the price is phenomenal as well. I think it's an 83 rated squad and an 84 rated squad. One team of the season or team of the week player required as well. If you did foot swaps last month, I, I for example, I got myself uh, Inform Marquinhos from foot swaps last month for, for three tokens for an 87 rated Inform. I just submitted him and pretty much did the SBC for like... 40k i think or something like that it was it was really cheap uh, i just think it was a great value spc um and i hope that the future spcs are going to look like this like i said like fantastic content a bit late let me know down below what you guys think it's a it's a bit late for this sort of content but the content really is like top notch it's just fantastic content and it's a shame that it's came so late in the game i have two minutes until uh my squad battles teams update so i want to quickly update with you guys and just show you guys uh typically what my updates look like what the teams i typically get look like and what the teams that i will play against and the teams i'll try and avoid just so you guys get a cool idea of it really um i think as far as i'm aware you get one update per day during the week and i think an update every six or every four hours on the weekend 
um, which is not bad if you ask me. So to get an update, for example, three times a day would be fantastic. So you can keep updating it. You just have to keep uh, pretty diligent so you don't miss an update because the moment you miss one of the updates, for example, if you're not there, if, if the update's at 10 a.m., and you're not there the next update if you don't get there for the next update then you're gonna miss a whole chunk of teams uh that could potentially have really low area bronze teams so i'd stay diligent um and i'd just say try and complete all th like like as many as you can at once uh i think going with a french and brazilian player up top in a in a narrow formation like for example i am uh would be a great way to get the brazilian and french assists killing two birds with one stone then i think for example uh doing the same thing with um you know having having uh lozano and then having for example your Liga Nos team being below 82 rated as well is just it's so much easier and it saves you a lot more time i think it's just easy to get all of them knocked out of the park uh you can do the finesse shots as well i think it's like five finesse shots any game mode to get a kit but again it's literally only a kit so who really cares about the kit unless you think that's the best kit in the world i'm not really too bothered and i think this this objective down here will be something i do for fun later on in the week possibly i don't think i'll i don't think i'll do it but if i do do it it'll be something i do later on in the week possibly uh we've got 50 seconds until the next update so i'll see you guys when I next get an update. So for those that are still not savvy about squad battles, uh, I have an update available. I get to refresh my opponents. And as you'll see, we actually got very, very lucky. We, we've got three teams here that I think are beatable and I get another update in eight hours. So it's eight hours per update. So this is definitely a team I'd play. Uh, low chemistry, not the highest of rated either. Um, this team will probably, you'll struggle in, in their attack but easily break down the defense. It'll be it'll be a very easy game to play. This one is going to be so much fun to play because it'll just be so easy to absolutely slap around. Uh, 64 rated, no chemistry. This one will be a little bit harder. Uh, this one I'll struggle a little bit more with. It's got the Lozano up there, of course. It's got a couple icons here and there. It's something I'll struggle a little bit more with. However, uh, seeing that non-rare goalie in goal, I think will be a little bit easy to, uh, to try and abuse a little bit more. So this will be something that I struggle with. I'm definitely not going near this team. 90 rated, 100 chem. I'm not touching that team. I'm not going anywhere near it. You can, you just, you just do you. I'll do me. You, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going near that team. That team will just absolutely slap me. So uh, in the next eight hours, I'll be playing these three teams and then I'll get another update uh, and hopefully get, if I don't complete the objectives in those three teams, hopefully I'll then get another update with hopefully more of these teams. Uh, that will just make life a whole lot easier. Uh, and that's what I look out for. I just look out for the low rated teams the teams that are 82 and under are usually what i kind of look for and then the chemistry anything under 70 chemistry um if you get like an 84 rated team with like 60 chem i'd still play it because 60 chem is really really low um so that's what i'd look for personally in the squad battles team but that, that is it for this video i've struggled to talk throughout the entire video i do apologize about that uh i'm you know i'm just i'm just having a bad day i'll be honest with you my mouth is just not having a good day today um but that is it for this video i really didn't think i'd be i'd be making more of these videos in fifa 19 but if EA keep bringing fire weekly objectives, I will keep bringing these videos. I really like making these videos. They're some of my favorite videos to make. So hopefully EA keep dropping some really cool weekly objectives. I'm looking forward to see what they have more in store. It seems like they're really starting to care about the content they're dropping, which is all too late. But hey, not complaining if it means that FIFA is a little bit more fun for the summer. Uh, I am not complaining personally, and I will, I will like to see more cool objectives like that. Anything that's free is good for me. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are near around here. We are on currently 87,000, nearly, nearly 87,700 subs. We are like 12,300 away from 100,000 subs. That is crazy. I'm very excited little bit nervous uh and hopefully we can smash that uh come december you know like before christmas would be the the aim the goal so hopefully we can do that that'll be absolutely fantastic thank you for the support recently and i'll see you later